Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvriLR32 here, and smash the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. I truly do appreciate all of the support while I show you some degenerate baby back BS with the We Have Mystic Mind at Home version of Mystic Mind in Fire Prison. Now, don't be clicking off. Hear your boy out first. Look, my dad was wearing black for a week. I had to get him to calm the hell down somehow, some way. So we ended up cooking this up. And by we, I mean him because I didn't want to touch this shit with a 10 foot pole. But it's like, I can't escape it. Like literally five of my most popular videos in like the past year have been Mystic Mind videos. So clearly y'all like when I am in pain looking at some toxicity. So you know what? If you like watching it, I'm going to give it to you. So if you don't want to adapt to how Yu-Gi-Oh! is now, if you just want to sit there at your locals or regional YCS, what have you, maybe a remote duel. Uh, I highly suggest you put this into a remote duel because I think remote duels are hot garbage. Please troll that into oblivion. Um, but if you just want to troll, you know what? Here you go, Sugar Boo Bear. This is how you troll when Mystic Mind gets banned. You go with the next best thing. So this is Fire Prison. So it's a field spell, and it says all dragon monsters on the field gain 300 defense. That's pretty cute. If any link monsters are on the field, neither player can link summon a link monster with a lower link rating than the highest link rating on the field. Take a shot every time I said link. <laughs> Monsters cannot attack except link monsters, and then you apply the following effects while two or more Cybers link monsters are on the field. You can negate the activated effects of Cybers monsters, and Cybers monsters cannot attack, cannot be targeted for attacks, and cannot be targeted by card effects. That's never going to come up. The only thing that you really care about here is that no monsters can attack except for link monsters, which means if your opponent isn't playing any links, then they just can't attack. And it also locks them out of basically linking down if that makes sense like how normally most decks will climb link ladders it doesn't let them go back down so if they're at a link two they can't go into a link one they can only go into something higher than that now you're probably wondering avery if they have access code do i lose yes you fucking do <laughs> because uh unless you've got like field barrier up which even then that doesn't matter because if access code is multiple pops they're just going to pop the field barrier pop the fire prison and move on with their day um yeah it's it's the diet soda of all the diet sodas of Mystic Mind. <laughs> but you know what? My dad was wearing black for a week. We we had to pull them out somehow. So this is what we're working with. You have fun with it at your leisure. Also, yes, the extra deck is, or the side deck's only 14 slots. Use the one extra slot for whatever you want. So we're playing three copies of Silent Wobby to give the opponent a monster. We're playing two copies of Planet Pathfinder, one copy of Feather Duster, one Extrav, three Dark Ruler, because you really want to break boards in this deck, one Terraforming, three Prosperity with three Duality, three Demise of the Land to get to your Diet Soda, Mystic Mind, <laughs> three Field Barrier, three Goddess Scald, and three Cauldron of the Old Man is pretty standard, along with three Diet Soda, Mystic Mind, uh, one Metaverse, three Psalm Judgment, three Bribe, and one Curse Seal. This card still confuses people, and it's hilarious. 15 cards for the extra deck of really whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then the side deck, I just kind of threw it together because these are cards that you definitely want to be having in your side. Uh, we got three Lava, three Lightning Storm, three Evenly, three Skill Drain, and two Curse Seal. I've had people tell me, you know, why don't you max out on D-Shifters, D-Fisher, Macro, and all that. You got to keep in mind that if you're playing all of that in the same deck, you're going to be running into a fuck ton of bricks. You don't need to overcompensate like that. Like, <laughs> even my dad, Lord have mercy, he's like... You know what? Like, I'm getting sick of this meta. I'm just going to play a deck with three macro, three D Fisher, uh, three Dimension Shifter, three Swiss Scarecrow. And I'm like, Dad, you're going to run into so many bricks. Like, just relax your anus and calm the fuck down. Like, don't don't be playing all that stuff in a deck. Like, it's, it's just bad. So, can this deck compete at a high level like Mystic Mind? Absolutely, it cannot. Do not take this to a regional or YCS and think you're going to slap some fools across the ass with it because they're going to laugh at you. They're going to make access code and they're going to pop everything sky high. Or they're just going to do like tier element shenanigans and just pop it somehow that way. <laughs> or they're going to go tier. <laughs> they're going to go tier element heartbeat and bounce this shit back, and you're just going to be pissed. Oh my lord! Especially if a fire, if a not fire prison, especially if a field barriers face up. Now you can't reactivate the fire prison. It's it's a lovely time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, but look, I also want to take the time to say in this profile that I do miss Mystic Mind for the troll factor that it was and, you know, being able to play it in Runic and Sky Striker and so many other things. 
I mean, I've talked about before why I hate Sky Striker and how I got cheated by a player at a regional, but I digress. You know, Mystic Mine, even as, like, my dad who enjoyed the card said, like, it's great, but at the same time, it's bad and it needs to go. He realized this, and he played the card back when it originally came out. So I think that the majority of the community agrees that the card needed to go and that, you know, you can still have fun and kind of experiment with different options, you know, from here on out. Maybe Mystic Mind will come back eventually. I hope not. But, you know, we also have that side of the player base who says, no, it's an out to the heavy combo decks and what Yu-Gi-Oh's become now and blah, 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 blah. But the issue is, is that Yu-Gi-Oh has changed permanently. And I think I've talked about this on the channel before, but basically when Dark Ruler, or Dark Rulers, what am I saying? When Dragon Rulers came to the TCG, I, me and a lot of other people didn't realize at the time, we were like, holy crap, the game is so fast, like all these cards need to be banned. But then as more and more time went on, especially after 2014 post-hat format, you know, things just got progressively faster. And now looking back on it, I realized, well, hey, this is the direction that Konami wants to take the game in. And it's just crazy fast now, unfortunately. That's how the game is now. You have to be able to adapt to that. That's how you get better at the game. Um, and, you know, maybe down the line, maybe Konami will make some or some sort of card that helps stall burn decks to where, you know, people aren't just trolling with Fire Prison or, you know, they're not trying to play a final countdown deck with just 39 stall cards and hope the final countdown goes through. I still think final countdown could come back to three. Same with Chain Strike. Like, you know, throw burn and stall a little bit of a bone. It's not like they're going to suddenly become tier one or even rogue if both of those cards are worth three. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you miss Mystic Mine being gone? I did for about two minutes, um, but then I was happy because uh, now Sky Striker is just held with its support. It's not held together by Gorilla Glue Tape and Mystic Mine. It's just held together with Popsicle Sticks at this point. So yeah, I've already talked about on the channel why I hate that deck with a passion because I got cheated at a, at a regional. The guy stalled me in the time and then won by 100 life points with Kaina. Bad times. So, guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.